All right, guys, so we're getting this party started. This is what we like to do it around here in the holidays. We like to get this fire pit going. We like to get things rolling and going over here. So I hope you guys have family that you get to enjoy this with. If you don't, get a hold of me, man. I'll just adopt you. Love y'all. Here we go. Love it. Okay, so I just want to show you guys real quick. Even though the meat is still frozen, even though it's still frozen, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Because obviously I can't prepare it, I can't inject it. And it's going to help get defrost, defrosted here on the, uh, the smoker. I have some wild hog that's not thawed out yet. So I'm going to set it on here just to get thawed out. Once it's kind of thawed out, then we'll do everything else we need to it. Okay guys, so here we have our turkey. And we have our wild game. It's a wild hog right here. Right now, what it's doing is it's just defrosting and getting a smoking flavor. Okay, here's something else I like to do. So while it's thawing out, I'm gonna put a little bit of beer on it. Okay, some oil, just to keep it from drying out. Just keeps it from drying out, guys. Remember, we're still defrosting, but I'm still gonna give it, while it's cooking, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Give it a little bit of a prime rib rub here. Even while it's defrosting, it could still get flavor, guys. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Texas jungle style, guys, right here. Texas jungle style. Got it at Costco. Prime rib seasoning for beef and pork. Made by Rodell, I guess. Cheers. Happy holidays, everybody. This is looking good. We're going to close it up. Let me bring you close to it real quick so you can see. Let me show you. Even though it's defrosting, it's getting a beautiful color, beautiful flavors. Gorgeous Texas jungle style. So it's going to get the heat. This is going to get up to about 250. I just want to show you guys how nice it's looking over here. It's not getting too burnt. I'm just making sure. And it's not really cooking. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. But I'm just making sure that it doesn't get overcooked and it doesn't actually start cooking. So I'm gonna rotate this. This puppy right here. Very little rotation. Gosh, look at this, look at this. Wild hog, guys, this excites me. Just look at it, would you look at it? Just look at that, look at all the, the marbling, I mean, the, caramelization of the meat and i just just put this puppy in let's go ahead and close this guys don't want to open it a lot but i'm just loving the way it looks right now it was uh all the way up to a perfect 250 um as soon as you start getting into the red it'll start cooking so if you want to stay in the smoke only stay in the blue up to 200 What you got there, Josh? <laughs> the filet mignon. See it? The beauty of it. It is like art. Oh, we're just smoking everything, okay, guys? We're just smoking it. We're trying to, we're penetrating the flavor, we're defrosting it. And then we're gonna cover it and let the juices let this sit and marinate in the juices. But I mean, just look at this. It gets a beautiful crust. And it's, it's just, I mean, it hadn't been long. I got a question for all of you. What makes Thanksgiving Thanksgiving to you? Is it the turkey? Is it the ham? Is it going to the woods the morning before or the morning of? Is it the cranberry sauce that has a slight tart, yet a sweetness that makes you want to go for more? What makes Thanksgiving Thanksgiving to you? Is it the warm, 
potato rolls steaming with melted butter dripping? Is it the turkey you dip in dressing and the mashed potatoes that you take a double scoop of? What makes Thanksgiving a Thanksgiving for you? But what makes a Thanksgiving a Thanksgiving to me is family, love, thankfulness, and food that will fill you till your dreams come true. Enjoy this moment because the rest of the year is hectic. God bless you. Stay away from Black Friday. All right, guys, it's looking good. Look right here. Perfect. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. Tell me what you're cooking for Thanksgiving. Hope you got love in your life. Hope you're thankful. This is how we do it, Texas jungle style. We hunted today. I'm still in my hunting clothes. And my daughter and I had a great time. It was a great day. And that's a Texas tradition. All right, guys. So we went ahead and flipped all this. What we want to do is get some of this oil right here. Vegetable oil will be just fine. I normally use I normally use olive oil, but I'm using this right now. Obviously, it'd be better to brush it on, but it's cheap. I don't care. I'm taking some more of this rub right here. This is the prime rib rub. Very generous on the prime rib rub, guys. It's expensive stuff, but you know what? It's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving special. So, I'm gonna rub these meats like I'm massaging it, like I'm a massage parlor right here, and I'm giving a, a uh, Thursday special. Rub this turkey right here, get all that in there. Keep in mind, guys, we were just defrosting. We were finishing defrosting all this. And right now, we're just keeping the flavors. Look, it still has the bag in there and everything. All I'm doing is getting the brown, getting the flavors, the smoke flavors. Tomorrow, the baking and the covering is gonna take place where the moisture will be caught in all this. Right now, it's only penetrating and getting flavored on this grill at 250. Enjoy. Bon appetit. By the way, this is Italiano, Texas style, cowboy cooking Thanksgiving. Wild hog, wild boar, and turkey from Walmart. Can't get more American, can't get more Texan, can't get more Texas jungle. I'd like to show you what the meats look like when they're on the grill here. Thanksgiving might be good. Oh, tell me it don't look good right there. And then we got some backstrap right here, getting it done like it did. I usually don't take backstrap and smoke it like this and cook it, but we're actually cooking right now, guys. We're actually cooking this stuff. The juices are dripping. I feel bad they're dripping on the bottom. I almost want to put something under it to catch all the juice. I will probably soon, but this is only preliminary cooking stage of this, these foods, guys, these meats. They're going to actually be uh, cooked tomorrow morning, but right now I'm just wanting to infuse the flavor, kind of get them semi-cooked, and this way tomorrow all we have to do is stick them in the oven covered, and it'll be delicious, guys. I am hoping that you are having the type of Thanksgiving meat festival that we're having, and I hope that you're at least are thankful and enjoying your family, even if it is a roasted chicken from HEB. There's nothing wrong with that. Look at this, guys. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you can smell it. I wish you could smell it. I wish you could taste it. If you know where I live, just show up. Come on, guys. It's dark here, so you can't see a whole lot of us, but I just want you to see these meats. All right, guys, it's looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit of, uh, beer schmitz on it you want to keep the moisture constantly going on this i love salted pork 
If I only told you how delicious this salted pork was right here. Man, we got fat. We got meat. It's a perfect combination of fat, meat. Uh, I want to show you, we just took the turkey off. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. Okay, guys, real quick, before I put it in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and put some on the hog. As you can tell, we got the family is all here and excited. It's Thanksgiving. We got family from out of town. I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, beer right here on it as well. This makes for a great sauce on the bottom. Instead of just water, I don't like watering things down. I'll do a little bit on this turkey as well. Nothing wrong with cooking with beer or wine, guys. It gives it just a nice flavor and gives it the moisture that it needs. So we're gonna cover this and we're gonna stick it in the oven. Okay, all right, so this is the next morning, guys. I had to wake up early even though I wanted to sleep in. There's a lot to do to get ready when you're the host at a Thanksgiving party, as you probably know, if you've been a host before. It's important to get these in early, guys, early in the morning. So this is slow cook. So we got one, and we got two. This is our wild hog, guys. And, of course, we have our delicious turkey. Boom. For hours, it's been smoking. Cooking a little bit, now it's in the oven. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we have the oven set to 350. So it's probably about 7.30. So it's gonna be on. We're supposed to be eating Thanksgiving uh, meal about one or two o'clock. So it's gonna be in this oven till then. Uh, so I chose to put it on 350. To me, it's a, it's a low high. It's not really a high temperature and it's not really low. Six hours, so that's perfect guys. So six hours, if it was a completely raw, a large chunk of meat or, or turkey, then it would be a problem. But it's not. It's partly cooked, and so it's going to be in here at 350 for six hours, and we'll get back with you. Pie crust, right? A pie crust? Yeah. What pie are we making? Some kind of berry Berry. Thing. Berry. Mm. Raspberries from Denmark Garden. Ooh. Oh. So local raspberries. Yes. Organic blueberries and organic strawberries. Oh, that's gonna be good with a homemade crust. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking I'm about, guys. Excited. Woo! Excited over here. It is smelling like Thanksgiving. It is feeling like Thanksgiving. You feeling it? The cranberries are feeling it. Yeah, we're heading that direction. Mmm, make the cranberry sauce. Guys, it is feeling like it is feeling like Thanksgiving around here. That's okay, just tell us what this is. Two cups of pomegranate juice. Okay. Two cups of orange juice. And a three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, so orange juice, pomegranate juice, brown sugar. No honey? Oh, and, and, and a yes. And a yes? And a yes. And a yes. Honey, 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 honey. I literally just squirted the honey. So All right, you got some uh, orange zest yes. on the cranberries. Fresh cranberries made from scratch. We're gonna start boiling these down. Check this, guys, here in a minute. Let me look at it. Ooh, that looks amazing. Oh, oh, oh. That looks amazing. Wow. It smells fantastic. Wow. Oh my goodness, the moisture. Oh, good. Oh my goodness, guys. Guys, super, super moist. Super moist. Come over here and look at this real quick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Corinne. Take this. Okay. What's that? Man, it's already kind of falling off the bone, guys. It's not going to take long for this. I'm going to inject it with the juice that's in it, and I'm going to inject it with the, the sauce that we made right over here that's got the honey, orange juice, and the pomegranate. All right, this is our wild hog. Oh wow, look at this. Man. It's already falling off the bone, guys. It's cooking a lot faster than I thought. Um, let me just show you. This is already, guys, falling off the bone. Smoking for hours yesterday, and it's already falling off the bone, and it is super moist. Look at this. I surprise, I shock myself sometimes with the way this comes out. Look at this right here. 
Oh my goodness, Jordan, try that real quick. It's super hot. How is that? Delicious. Is that nice? Yes. Guys, this is ready. This is soup. This is ready, guys. This is it. So I'm just gonna flip this, guys. It's already falling off the bone. This is ready. So this is it, guys. A wild hog right here. So this is the front shoulders right here. How is it? That is absolutely fantastic. You love that? Oh yeah. Better than a coyote? I'm, I'm, I don't know what you guys are eating <laughs> because I'm eating all this. Go for it. No, all right, no, so this guy is ready. This guy is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think I'm gonna take this off right here. Or no. Always take a look at it. <laughs> Zoom in right here, Rory. Look at this. Okay, hind quarters right here, guys, and back strap. It looks like the back strap's falling off the, well, it's not on the bone, but it's super, super moist, and it is falling apart, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it in the sauce. Can you see it in here, Lori? Yeah. Flip it in the sauce. We're gonna go ahead and flip this. It's falling off the bone as well. Look at the juice, guys. This is wild hog that we got from our Texas jungles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It is out of control, man. You saw it from start to finish. Mm. Turkey came out absolutely perfect. It's separating off the bone, it's still moist. And we're just gonna inject it, shut the oven off, inject it with our delicious sauce, and it'll be ready to go. <laughs> All right, so we got our handy little injector here, guys. And we're just gonna inject this meat wherever it'll receive it. So we got our, uh, this is homemade wild raspberry pie right here, guys, with a homemade crust. Can we sample it? <laughs> Man, that looks so good, guys. Look at this. And that's what happens when you have Jungle Mama and Jungle Mama's Mama in town. Okay, wild hog right here, guys. Falling off the bone. Delicious. Cool. Hey, okay, I'm with the trash. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. Happy Thanksgiving. What's up? How's it going? How Been the camera, man. Hey, hey. Hi. Absolutely. So you pick up the whole turkey. Wow, oh, look at that. Set it right here. Put it on your banquet tray? Absolutely. So, and then of course, that. I can scooch it off. That's it. And that's the nice thing about this. Dear Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for this time. We thank you for Thanksgiving, and we are definitely thankful for what's in front of us right now, Lord God. I'm thankful for the family that's around here uh, and around me. I'm thankful for uh, this food and just the bounty. We are so blessed in America, Lord God, and just anywhere around the world. Where we have family, we have food, and we have you, Lord. We have it all. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you, people. How's the food, everybody? What do you think, kiddos? Is it good? You love it? What's your favorite? The roll? The rolls are your favorite? The potato rolls? These are my favorite. Mm. 
What do you think? Is it yummy? Yep. Nothing. Well, you're eating the bread. Food. You're eating the bread. Of course, the bread's yummy. Y'all, yeah. you guys need to eat the veggies and the meat. That's wild hog right there, and What's this? that's wild Walmart turkey. That's box. Mima, what do you think? Delicious. What do you think? What do you think of the wild hog? Have you had wild hog before? It's actually delicious, bro. First time. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Thank you. I can't get over how amazing it is. You love it? Yeah. And you're usually a picky eater, right? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. What's your favorite part, the turkey or the wild hog? Um, the wild hog. Yeah? It was so tender. I appreciate it. Great. what do you think? <laughs> Not as, you, your compliment wasn't as good as Aaron's. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. God bless you.